very good morning to Dr. Muhammad Isa. Uh, my name is Esther Nagjuni. Today we will present on Sir Edward Franklin. I will present on Bayadatta of Sir Edward Franklin. He was born on 18 January 1825. His hometown is Churchtown, England. He was dead on 9 August 1899 at Gola, Norway. Edward Franklin had a wife named Sophie Fick. Unluckily, his wife died early. Then he married again with Ellen Frances Greenside. He had a son named Percy Franklin. For his education history, he studied under Bunsen and Liebig, professorship at Putney College and University of Manchester. Thank you. Okay, now I want to talk about the accomplishment by the Sir Edward. Of uh, course, he got the Royal Medal uh, in 1857 uh, for research on the isolation of the radical of organic compound. And he also got the Copley Medal in 1894 for outstanding achievement in research in any branch of science and he also got the blue plaque from the Royal Society of Chemistry uh, for the permanent sign of famous person event and the historic maker and, and he also got the citation of breakthrough award in 1852 for publication on the discovery theory of balance and the last one he got the blue plaque from the English heritage for bring the story of England to life of over 10 million people each year that's all for the accomplishment by Sir Edward in 1848 Edward Franklin combined zinc and ethyl iodide in attempt to isolate the ethyl radical while this reaction did not achieve the des desired uh, result. It did lead Franklin to a new accident discovery. Uh, he was unaware that the reaction would produce the first main group organometallic compound which is ethyl zinc iodide and diethyl zinc. Diethyl zinc is a uh, pyrophoric organo zinc combined with two ethyl group sandwich a zinc atom. It is uh, crucial in organic chemistry as a re reagent and it is also available in uh, hexane, heptane and toluene solution. But Franklin discovery or organometallic chemistry did not stop there. In creating this compound, he began investigating the nature of chemistry bonding between atoms. This led Franklin to a crucial uh, theory that has shaped structure chemistry today, which is valency. In chemistry, valence ref refer to com combining power of electron with atom to form ke chemical compound. It is used to explain chemical bonding and to measure the number of electrons needed to fill the outermost shell of atom. In 1852, Edward Franklin uh, wrote a paper that proposed the theory of chemical uh, proposed of theory of chemical valency. It was Franklin's work on organo organometallic compound that led him to the theory of combining, combining power and the valence. This is because he made the observation that chemical eh sorry element process fixed combining power. Franklin's proposed theory of valence was thus used to explain chemical bonding. This became the basic of modern structure chemistry and for cite Edward Franklin as one of the first investigators in this field. Moving on to contribution by Sir Edward Franklin. 
The first contribution he made is during in 1859, which is the luminous flame. Franklin traveled to summit of Mont Black to investigate the illuminating power of flames under different atmospheric pressures. After his experiment, Franklin concluded that a flame luminosity increased alongside atmospheric pressure. The second contribution he, he made is water purification. During 1865, following the cholera epidemic and the public cry for clean water, Franklin was appointed as London's water consultant. At a time when no one knew how to identify clean water, he developed sensitive new methods that reveal the amount of nitrogen and carbon in water. The third contribution that Sir Edward Franklin made is by discovery of helium during 1868. During this time, Franklin and Joseph Norman Lockyer, an English astronomer, discovered the element helium after they observed a yellow line emanating from the solar spectrum. Franklin and Lockyer originally named this element helios after Greek word of sun. In a nutshell, Sir Edward Franklin was an important chemist for many reasons. Not only he was the founding father of organometallic chemistry and the theory of valency, he was also the first person to truly analyze the gases produced by different types of coal and one of the first people to measure calories in food. He even popularized the notation that used in the chemical formulas and provide the basic on which modern structure chemistry rests. Thank you.